Hey, what's up, guys? Cesar Sanchez here with Move with Caesar. And for today's video, I will be demonstrating some of the exercises that I like to perform in order to improve my Jiu Jitsu. Now, these exercises are oriented around the bridge and strengthening my posterior chain muscles, such as the lats, the glutes, the hamstrings. Uh, but one of the one of my favorite exercises that I will be doing today is going to be a bridge, a hip thrust using this machine behind me. So why the bridge, right? So if you pay attention to the sport of Jiu Jitsu, every time you need to perform an escape, whether it is from the mount or side control, one of the most important fundamental moves is a bridge, an asymmetrical bridge. And you use the bridge not only to escape, but to control your opponents and to finish some of your submissions. So I'm not really gonna be doing a lot of explanation of the, of the exercises that I will be doing. However, I will share some tips and I'm gonna show some clips of the moves that I will be doing, okay? So if you have any questions, feel free to drop them on the comment section. If you have comments, please share with me what are some of your favorite exercises to improve your sport or to improve your jiu-jitsu okay so i'll see you guys next So it's been like three months since the last time I came to this gym, it's simply because I got really busy with the work. I took in so many clients and the only free time that I had to train, I made the choice of doing nothing but Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So I'm back to the gym because I really need to work. I, I miss my weightlifting sessions. So, and I also gained a few pounds. So I'm trying to shed some fat and just get back in the game. So I'm gonna go go I'm gonna go for my second round. I like using uh, this bands, this uh, basically glued or knee bands. And the reason why it's because, and, and, and I learned this from uh, Brett Contreras. He has a really good book on glued lap and how to build your glutes. And so basically when you put the bands above your knees and you stretch the band during the bridge, you're able to create what is called mechanical tension. I think, I think that's the term. I, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, either mechanical tension, but basically what, what that is doing, it's creating a tree planner form of resistance that is activating all three of your glutes, your minimus, medius, and maximus. And so it's a lot easier to get a really nice gluteal activation and achieve the goal, which is to build your glutes. Oftentimes, oftentimes you have people doing excessive amount of squats, deadlifts, and they're really not able to activate their glute muscles simply because they have muscular imbalances in the hip region, okay? So using one of these really, really allows you to isolate those muscles while you're performing a very dynamic compound move. So back to another set.
boy three months of not doing hip thrust uh, I can feel it right now I remember putting four 45 plates on each side and a 25 and it was like nothing I was able to do 15 reps and right <laughs> right now with four plates total whew, I feel it I feel it but we're getting back in the game All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do some uh, deadlifts. One of the things about the deadlifts is that deadlift is basically a pulling exercise. You're pulling something from the ground and you have to connect your entire body from your lower and upper extremities. Oftentimes when people do deadlifts, they, the, the, but the moment they start pulling the object off the floor, they overutilize muscles such as the lower back, and they don't really get proper engagement of your front and posterior chain. In other words, you should be getting a co-contraction of front muscles and the back muscles, as well as the muscles of your core, which is your corset and your, your um, um, latissimus dorsi. So I'm not gonna talk so much about technique. I'm just gonna demonstrate it the way I do it and hope you guys learn something. So it's been a while. It's been three months is the last time I did some good weightlifting sessions. So <clears throat> obviously I started with very lightweight. And so one of the main things that I'm just focusing on right now is just form to go ahead and recondition those muscles that are necessary to perform the deadlift, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and do the last set before they kick me out of the gym. All right, so we are done. And so they're pretty much closing the gym right now. So stay tuned because I will be putting up more instructional videos on mobility and pain management. I already got a bunch of requests. So if you're watching this and you made it to the end of the video, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the notification button, check out my other videos. They're really good if you wanna learn how to get out of pain, how to heal your back pain, shoulder pain, neck pain knee pain etc so you guys have a wonderful day and happy new year